Antonio led me inside, closing the coffee store. It was very peaceful, despite the chilly atmosphere downstairs. I felt safe. Antonio led me to the red chair. Please, please sit. I felt his lead, flattened myself down. Antonio leaned against his office door. Miss Black, I think it's safe to say now that the murder from yesterday there is something to catch you in the kitchen. But I think not I want to stay with at least two people during your shifts. Never be alone with anyone or be alone by yourself. Never be alone with saying all good. You know who did it, don't you? My words caught him off guard. Yes. To who did it? The environmental during their confront as it is. Then why just I can't the bun for the prize for his acid for certain and torment of some kind. Was he alright? Antonio? His head went back to me. I won't let anyone appraise your safety. You have my word, Miss Black. I said no, he couldn't tell me. And then I said a word. My necklace, I just asked if you'd seen it. Oh. Ask now? Or ask later? Hmm, that's a hard choice. Let me think. I'll ask you later, okay? Perhaps it's best to ask later. Actually, I have a gift for you. He pulled open his eye one by one. Oh, wait, help the gift for me. Reading his side pocket, he brought a small box wrapped in pink ribbon. Jenny puts my plum. My eyes locked all the time before me. It was pretty. Open that. Aren't, are you curious? I nodded. Untying the ribbon as quick as I can. The velvet binding floated down my lap and hesitated. My, lips, my fingers lifted the lid. It's time you finally stopped working in that blessed kitchen, won't you say? Two ruby red contacts sat in the tiny container. They're beautiful, more like gems than lenses. But the mom, try them. Ah, uh, but never had I worn lenses, but I looked at him with a orientation. He bent down to his knee in front of me. He'll let me. With one hand, he cupped my chin, and with the other, he pressed the lens. Open your eyes widely, I obeyed. Gently, his fingers slipped on the glass. He remembered through the other. He wasn't really blinking, I didn't. I felt very calm. I could barely feel the thin peel of the glass. I like his eyes pinning pin my face. Beautiful. My cheeks heated. Bright pink. His hand continued to caress my face. My hair. Fred suits you. I might as well ask now. I remember seen The door burst open. You won't believe what I just found. I then was back in his hand. His he was a golden hand. I played my gold. My necklace. His eyes darted to me, clear, surprise, clear on his face. Uh, this is, I. So, da so Damien, who found Miss Black's pendant, would you be so glad to give it back? Damien started confused. Alright, started waiting. Seconds passed before he finally gained composure, walking up to me and dropping my heart drink into my hands. Would you please wait on such Damien? During his eyes, he left. The door shut behind him. Well, does that answer your question? He chuckled with his triple arm and didn't reach me. Something wasn't right. Have have you seen this before? My necklace? Antonio froze. His demeanor extremely more. He's going to go. 